won't make it a piece of clay you're going to struggle with. All right. Attempt something affectionately called the goofy foot pole here as soon as I finish cleaning up my bottom. doing the work. I have a ramp set up here. On the inside I push the clay out over that lump. So let's keep this guy under control here. Now we're just gonna go almost regular. Three minutes and 11 seconds there. Three minutes and 11 seconds, does it cut you off? Not yet. Thank you, Steve Jobs, for hmm. doing a very good job at putting a computer to work in a micro device. So we're about as thin as I want to go right now. And maybe we should pause for a commercial break. I'm missing some tools. So I have a couple of ribs here. And before I go into my shaping, what I like to do is uh, pack the walls together a little bit. I lose a little bit of height here, but it makes it so much stronger for later on. I figure it's worth doing. So two things happening. I'm getting my walls, just in case there happens to be a little thin spot, I'm getting that out. And at the same time, I'm taking a lot of the excess moisture that's sitting on the outside of my piece. That's making my clay soft. Now, in my studio at home, I use a torch, but in this studio, we don't have that option. We won't say why out loud, or at least not on film. All right. No torches in the studio. Alright. So we're just going to compress this a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of a pull here. And now, strangely enough, I'm going to go add a little bit more water on here. A sponge. So there's a little twist in that. There is a little twist in there, and if I were finished, I would either make it more pronounced or less pronounced, but I wouldn't leave it somewhere in between. Yes, 
inside it. I think all these all to be the same way, so I'm going to have them tilted. For some reason, it helps to have your mouth over the top of it when you're collaring because it gets you over and it's much easier to come up straight. If you come up over to the side or like this, you get these horrible twists when you're collaring and you wonder like, why does he make it look so easy to collar and everybody else makes it so difficult? It's because if you're coming straight up, it's so much easier. this whole thing out because I just collared it in. When we collar it in, it gets thicker. Since I, I really don't want to finish this like this, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to first take some water off of these critical spots here. So um, I went and got another piece of clay and I sort of pinched it, you know, however you want to, into a cylinder um, that's about the same size as this. And then I'm going to uh, score both sides of this. Score is just the uh, ceramic term for scratching, as in every discipline you have your own language. We happen to call scratching scoring in the world of clay. And then I'm going to... Ooh, we might not be able to do this, but we're going to find out. Attach this piece of clay here. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to make this stronger. So, this edge here is a potential collapse point, right? So, I want to make it a little bit less of that before I start doing all this work on here. So I kind of have to think like a little bit of a structural engineer here, you know. I mean, these are scary enough all the way down here as it was. But we are going to connect this on here.
All right, so we kind of have that on there. And now we have to very gingerly use a tiny amount of water. And I'm going to pull this a little bit. need a throwing stick, don't we? Should I just go get one? Sure. You're just about to walk out when, you're, uh, when your fingers can't reach. And I'm going to push that shoulder out just a little bit there. get in here with our fingertips, so let's do fingertips. All right, That's now, amazing. what's that? That's amazing. Did you, Just, is that all from one? Almost. Four piece of clay, or did top tier is uh, another piece of clay. Very sloppy up there. But otherwise you just made one right. like giant bowl kind of thing and curved it. Uh, bowl, not the word I would use, but a cylinder, yeah. Alright, at this point we are going to say maybe throwing is not my best friend here. Pers and close this up a little bit by hand and now that I actually have this closed so it's holding in air I can <laughs> we are going to hand build this top piece a little bit I kind of like the shape of this one The important thing to remember is that uh, the clay on the wheel is the beginning, and uh, as soon as it stops spinning, that's uh, that's when the hand building starts. So I'm going to go ahead and you know clean this up a little bit when it's no longer spinning, and just get this to be exactly the way I want it to, and uh, maybe make some of these levels square. I don't know, but that's uh, throwing a cigarette on the wheel. Okay. Yeah.